Hi, I'm Bryce. And I've been meditating regularly for the last seven years or so. But recently I've decided to uh, expand my horizons in my meditation practice. Inspired by the various 30 days of meditation challenges, I decided to take this a step further. So every week I'm going to be practicing a different meditation technique and only that meditation technique for every day that week until starting a new technique the next week. A lot I didn't even know existed. So I wanted to share what I've been learning with all of you. This is going to be fun. We're all going to learn some stuff along the way, hopefully. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I like breathing. And it's nice to know how to do it in a conducive way. We're doing things a little bit different uh, in terms of the recording stuff, but here we are. And I wanted... But I still wanted to share what I've been learning about crystals and meditating with them. I realize when talking about this sort of subject, it might sound vaguely pseudoscientific or pseudoscientific. That's not even a word. So what I'm about to say, I, as far as I know, doesn't have any scientific backing at all. I just clear on my part, but this is what uh, goes around in my head when I think about meditating on uh, stones and crystals and all that. Uh, the fact that different stones are made up of different uh, materials and also the fact that those stones are different colors means that they, at a molecular and atomic level, vibrate at different frequencies to give off that certain color, to be that certain property. And I think it's possible for some people, maybe not all, but some people to tap into that a little bit. And sort of, I don't know, maybe be able to talk to the stone in some way, maybe be able to, uh, I don't want to say get inside the stone, but maybe, maybe be able to, like, uh, get in tune with that frequency a little bit, and maybe that frequency is able to help guide them in some way. Again, this is all just a theory. I don't know. I don't know if there's any scientific factors. Yet, I guess I need to do more research. But that's my fear, and that's part of the reason why I got into it in the first place. Maybe that's the case, that it's all in your head and psychosomatic. It could be. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is for some people, and maybe it works for other people. I mean, everyone's different. Everybody's going to have different sensitivities to things. That's what I'm partially why I'm doing it, to learn and understand these things. Um, I can definitely say with certainty that I think some stones affect me more than others. So that's the And maybe the stones that affect me don't affect other people. Oh, it's on again. Okay. Uh, so here's how this week is going to be. I'm actually going to be meditating for eight days this week instead of my regularly scheduled seven because for four days I want to meditate with the stones that I uh, have continued to meditate with here and there throughout my practice and then uh, for another four days I want to meditate with stones that maybe I'm not so that's this little experiment for this to see what happens meditating with Chris Kala, Chris so Kala, Chris Kakala. I, I have, I actually have no idea how to pronounce it. But meditating with that stone in particular feels and reminds me a lot like waiting in water a little bit. There's a certain when I meditate with that stone, I almost feel like a buoy. Just sort of bouncing around in water a little bit. It's very soothing and calming.
it almost reminds me of peppermint too in a way because there's just this sort of rush after concentrating on this for a little while there's sort of a little bit of a rush like a breeze that sort of moves through me as i meditate with chris kala or chris kakala with whatever meditating with azurite is always a trip sometimes almost quite literally i don't know what it is about azurite but when i meditate with it sometimes it feels like i'm getting a little bit high Oftentimes, the sensation when meditating with Azurite uh, feels a little bit like a Ferris wheel or maybe a slower roller coaster or something. Uh, like, I just feel like I keep going higher, 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 higher. And then there's a gradual descent, and then it sort of goes back and does the same thing. Again, as with all of these things, this could just be a uh, psychosomatic thing, uh, power of suggestion, stuff like that. But um, on the other hand, it, uh, this is, happens almost consistently whenever I have meditated with Azurite in the past. So for the last two days, I've been meditating with Emerald, my birth stuff. I decided to meditate with Emerald for more than one day because I wanted to spend a little bit more time with a stone I was familiar with. And then I'm going to do the same with a stone that I'm not familiar with. I'm going to spend uh, an extra day meditating on that stone too, so I'm not just spending one day meditating on each stone. Uh, yeah, I wanted to get a little bit more, a little bit more in depth, if you will, and uh, so I figured the best way to do that was to meditate with three different stones over a period of eight days. And uh, Emerald's an interesting stone to meditate with because there's a there's definitely a calming aspect to it. I uh, was trying to think of a way to describe meditating with Emerald earlier, and I'm not coming up with anything other than there's just a, a calming aspect to it. I know, especially today, when I was meditating with uh, my birthstone here, that um, uh, almost immediately as I was meditating with it, it uh, allowed me to get into a place of just super peacefulness, uh, serenity, if you will, and I, especially today as I was feeling a little bit of, uh, when I started meditating I was feeling a little bit of uh, pressure and stress of, of a couple different things happening around me, so uh, there's definitely something with ember, em emerald, not ember, <laughs> the emerald ember burns within my heart is what emerald is supposed to do sort of but again like i've said before this could all be uh you know, psychosomatic or whatever and even if it is psychosomatic it's uh it's still doing something at least for me and again this might not work with other people but uh it's definitely doing something with me so i just thought of a way to describe uh meditating with emerald it's almost like uh dropping a stone in a large body of water and feeling that stone sink, sink, sink to the bottom. And then right as that stone hits the bottom, there's a moment where it sort of um, levels off for a second or something. Uh, and uh, sort of almost gently lays on the ground a little bit. That's the feeling I got when meditating with Emerald here.